Yo, what's going on, Epic7? I'm Sue, and this is my beginner's guide to Abyss Floor 99. Floor 99 will have you squaring off against Destina, who has two very annoying passives. The first is Longing Memory. When Destina goes under 50% health, she will transform into Ruel of Light. Ruel will then summon Judge Kisei, and Judge Kisei will immediately get a turn. Judge Kisei is basically the real boss of this entire floor. She has very punishing debuffs in her kit. She can stun your team. She can defense break your team. She can remove all of your buffs. She can reset all of your character's cooldowns. The thing is, if you try to focus down Judge Kisei and kill her, Ruel can revive her, and after she revives, she kind of goes completely... Uh, sicko mode basically she kind of enrages so you don't really want to kill the judge kisei instead you want to be bringing things that help mitigate the debuffs in her kit like cleansers as well as the character vivian which we'll talk about in a little bit the second thing here in her kit this passive peaceful energy also very annoying when a debuff ally is attacked increases the combat radius of an ally and the caster so either destina or ruel by 30 percent Essentially, this says, hey, if you try to, like, Curus Poison Destina or Ruel, they're just going to heal out of it by getting a ton of combat readiness. If you try to use Raz S2 with Defense Break combo, like we've been using for a lot of these Abyss Floors, they're just going to basically heal out of it. So, you basically need to bring DPS that don't have any debuffs in their kit. It's really, really important. You're just going to be completely hampered if you don't actually do that. If there's one thing you take away from this mechanic section at the start of the video, please, please bring characters that deal damage and don't have debuffs. Otherwise, you're going to be here for a very, very long time in this fight. So let's talk about the team that I'm using, starting with Adventure Raz. Admittedly, Adventure Raz is not very good on this floor, but he's a free tank and he has a defense buff, which is very nice throughout the fight. And his skill one has a strip on it, which means that I can... Get rid of attack buffs from Judge Kisei or like continuous healing if I need it for whatever reason throughout the fight. You can use almost any tank you want here uh, as long as they don't have like a uh, an uncontrollable debuff. Like Brieg, for example, would not be very good to play here. But like Lilius is fine. Uh, Falcon or Clurry is fine if, as long as you don't use her skill 3. You just kind of use her for her combat readiness push on the S1 as well as her incidental healing. Arius is the artifact. Speed on the boots. Health percentage ring. Health percentage necklace. Healer is Tamarin. Shouldn't have to explain why this deep into the Abyss Guide series. Best PvE healer in the game. Plus 7 on Song of Stars. Plus 1 on Shining Star. Wanderer's Potion Vial is not a must. But a really nice to have. Considering Judge Kisei has so many debilitating debuffs in her kit. So having a backup plan. Something that can help cleanse stuff. When you don't have idle mode. Pretty good deal. Speed on the boots. Health percentage on the ring. Health percentage on the necklace. First damage dealer that we're playing is Vivian, who can acquire from the game's Hunt Expert Challenge for Banshee, in case you haven't already done it. So everyone has access to this character. Um, since she is a damage dealer, level 60 would be ideal. I'm using pretty much all free arena gear, free dash gear, free gear obtained from the 6th anniversary event. If you just don't have you know this stuff because you're watching in the future, use whatever you have from Haunts or the Adventurous Path. Daydream Joker is going to be the artifact for damage, but feel free to use whatever else you want. Normally, I would say use Daydream Joker no matter what because it's the best PvE damage artifact. But even though it doesn't say anywhere in the skills that the characters are unaffected by it, it feels kind of like they are unaffected by it. So your mileage may vary. Really important, exclusive equipment. Mana amplification dispels one debuff from all allies. So one of the main reasons that we're using Vivian for this fight is she gives immunity to your whole team with mana amplification, which lets us sidestep some of the really problematic stuff that Judge Kisei has if we time it right. Having the ability to cleanse off the unbuffable buff that Judge Kisei constantly puts down and then give immunity is invaluable. So this exclusive equipment is really, really important, I feel like, for this fight. As for right side stats, speed on the boots, attack percentage ring, crit damage on the necklace. Again, it's all free gear. And then finally, we have Commander Lorena here. Uh, just great single target DPS with no debuffs in the kit, all free dash gear, level 60, and has, she has her skill tree fully unlocked. Daydream Joker again here. You feel free to use like a symbol of unity if you want, if you have that as well. All right. 
Let's jump into the fight now. I'm scared. All right, so just like with the previous floors, we are just going to slowly walk down the ads. The ads in this floor are a bit more obnoxious than the previous ones, as you're about to see. Because these characters here, the swordsmen, when they go under 50% health, they get a barrier. And if they get their ultimate, they get a ton of buffs, including an attack buff, or I should say a counter buff, which makes attacking them very, very obnoxious. So we're going to see if we get a defense break here. So you see there's that barrier. Do an S2 at Vivian for damage. See if we can kill this one. And now he's got ult up here in a second, this mob. Can push him back with Spiral Breakthrough. Can S2 here with Vivian. There's that barrier again. Let's see if I can strip the barrier. Nope. You can't close your eyes. And now, he, as you can see here, he gets his ult. And now when we attack him, we get countered. Which is kind of obnoxious. Very interesting. Doesn't do a ton of damage. It's just really annoying. We can skill three here for defense buff. Because when we walk down the Nightmare Keeper, we'll obviously get the cooldown back. We could S2 to heal up Commander Lorena. And skill 2 for just the damage on both. If I must fight. Same thing, we could just skill 2 here. And now, we just let all of our cooldowns regenerate while we slowly whittle down Nightmare Keeper. Alright, so now we're on to Destina. Let me explain the mechanics a little bit better here for Destina. So, if you go to the Hourglass in the top left here, you can see her cooldowns here. This second ability with the three-turn cooldown, this is regen. It will heal the person on Destina's team with the lowest percentage health. So, if Destina has lower percentage health than the adds, she will heal herself, which makes things a lot more difficult to deal with. So, therefore, I am just going to essentially try to focus Destina when I can. But I will sprinkle in some AoEs from Vivian, so that way, these adds are always going to be lower than Destina's percentage health to, in order to kind of speed up the fight. If you kill the adds, by the way, her ultimate just revives the adds, so you'll just be stuck kind of in a holding pattern. So we can S2 here. Get our defense buff up. We can... Breakthrough here. We can just soul burn it. Just try to get as much damage as we can on Destina. I will continue my training. Listen to me, sing. Skill one here. If I must fight. The order of the shield does not back down. I'm already. We can mana amplification to get Gab on Vivian. That's greater attack buff for you new players, in case you don't know what gap means. Focus Destina. We could skill two here. We could soul burn here. If I must fight, 
Let's go on with Ross. You can't close your eyes. Heal up Lorena. Very interesting. I don't think we actually want to S2 here. I think we could just S1. The Order of the Shield does not back down. Alright, let's do this. Get our defense buff up, which is gonna be huge because these uh sprites here, they start to hurt with their abilities. And now you can see we used regen on the lower one, so I'm not worried about it. Now I can go for skill two here. I will continue my training. Because as you can see here. She's still two turns away again from regen. So I could probably push phase long before she gets another heal up. Good soul burn here. I will continue my training. Destina's protection. So Destina's protection, in case you don't know here, Destina's grace, it's not actually a heal like it is in PvE. It just strips all of your buffs and sleeps a random character. We could just use S2 here. And then Lorena will pick up the fight here. So now she'll transform into Ruel, and immediately Judge Kisei will remove all of your buffs and hit you with Unbuffable, which is pretty obnoxious. I'll protect you. So now, the major mechanic for Ruel in this fight here is this Power of the Oath, I believe it is, or is it... It's one of them, yeah, I think it's this one. Every After every fifth attack suffered, Ruel reflects 60% of the damage suffered to the attacker. So you have to be cognizant of how often you hit Ruel. So there's one. Okay, we can mana amplification so that, that way Judge Kisei can't hit us with stuns or defense breaks for a little bit. Let's do this. Hit Ruel. I'm scared. So now. We have to S1 Judge Kisei because we have to, again, be mindful of where we are at in that rotation for Reflect, right? So if I go, right, there's no reason for me actually to Soul Burn here. We can S3 here. And now you see there's a Reflect here. So we can have Vivian S1 Judge Kisei. And then Raz can eat the Reflect because he doesn't do a lot of damage and he's very tanky. And he can also give us defense buff in the process. So now the cycle resets. So you just have to be mindful of this cycle the entire time you fight this character. Yeah, Judge Kisi just is so obnoxious on this floor. Does so much damage. You could have Raz S1 Judge Kisei. Okay, now we have Reflect again. I think I'm going to faint. Let's idle. Listen. To my song. Shine free. So we'll just have Vivian eat this. I don't think I'm that worried about it. All right, let's do this. Roz can S1 Judge Kisei. I will continue my training. And Lorena can go for Ruel. It's really important, by the way, you make sure you know where you are in the rotation. You don't want to accidentally have Tamarin S1 set up Reflect, and then Lorena goes into the Reflect. So again, it's very important. We're going to go for a basic skill here on Judge Kisei. Very interesting. And same thing here. I think that we can go S1 here. We'll have Raz eat the Reflect. And we can burn here on Lorena. I will continue my training. Listen to me sing. Alright, and now Judge Kise has ultimate. She'll reset all of our cooldowns, which is really rough, and we don't want to deal with that, so we mana amplification to block it with our immunity. 
Let's do this. And then Roz gets defense buff for us. Alright, so we have Reflect here. So another thing we could do here is we could actually just press R key here. That'll get rid of the Reflect. And the Rena will take none of the actual damage. So we're at three. I'm going to have Judge Kisei here. I'm going to just say Ra's attack S1 Judge Kisei. Try to remove that attack buff and we got it. So we take less damage. Alright, so we have a Reflect. We want to go for Judge Kisei. Can't really afford that. And now Light Ascending on Ruel will heal up Judge Kisei and give her a big barrier. As well as give a huge barrier to Ruel herself. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to strip with your Tamarin S1 or your Raz S1, so we don't have to worry that much about it. So we'll see if Raz can strip the barrier. See? Easy. We can break through on Ruel here. Idle mode. Remember, keep in mind, we have that reflect up. So we'll have Vivian attack Judge Kisei. And then we'll have Raz eat the Reflect. And then the Rena can go in for damage. Buff strip's kind of annoying. See? Look at that. Pretty obnoxious buff there. Oof. Wasn't mindful of my own Reflect, so I took a ton of damage that I didn't need to. This is probably going to put Reflect back up, so I'm going to have to probably take an off turn on my damage dealers. Let's mana Amplification here to get immunity. Hit Judge Kisei. Now we can heal back up Lorena. Roz can eat this Reflect for us. And then, I think I'm actually going to save my souls. I'm just going to do a regular breakthrough. So that way I can use Arky on the next Reflect turn. Okay, so we have Reflect back up. So we have to S1 here. Roz can eat the Reflect for us. And now because we have immunity, we don't have to worry about the cooldown pushback. But as you can see, the arena is taking a lot of punishment there. Close call there, but we're still fine. I'll protect you. Try to strip Judge Kisei's attack buff, so that way I don't have to deal with that. All right, so Tamarin ate our reflect for us. That's pretty good, pretty lucky. Normally we could just Arky here if uh, if we didn't get that dual attack. I'm buffable, so we want we're gonna want to basically go idle mode here. Get rid of all of our debuffs, and then we want to set up our mana amplification again. Light Ascending is coming up on Ruel, so we're going to have to end up dealing with another big barrier in a second. We can S3 here. Alright, so we have Reflect up now. So we go S1 here. We'll have Tamarin eat the Reflect, and then Lorena can go in. Breakthrough. Alright, we Amplification. That way we don't have to deal with Judge Kisei's nonsense. Um, let's see. Let's go... Arky here. To try to put Ruel low. And now she has a barrier here with Reflect. So we heal up. We hit here. This hits here. Alright, we strip this barrier and take the reflect. And 
and then we go in and hopefully we finish Ruel off in like the next attack or two. Alright, and then Vivian gets the kill here. And there you go. Abyss 499 in a nutshell. It's a very lengthy fight, uh, but it's pretty simple. You just have to be aware of HP totals for Destina. Don't bring any debuffs. Be aware of mana amplification to get immunity to be able to block specific Judge Kise attacks. And just, again, be very mindful of that Reflect. I've died with my Lorena so many times uh, in trying to get this footage out to you guys. Like, just being impatient. Um, that ended up basically cooking me. I ended up dying way more often than I needed to. Surprisingly, this was like took like four or five tries. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, though. Have any other questions? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you have another team you want to suggest to other players, feel free to leave that down in the comments as well. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you all in Abyss Floor 100. Later now.